Hey, what's up folks? It's Rojo, and welcome back to Let's Play Ironcast. When we last left off, we uh, actually successfully completed a hard mission, and got a lot of war uh, assets. I, ca I guess I called them war effort last time, but uh, war assets regardless. And uh, we got a, a nice coolant refill ability. Let's see what we have for missions this time around, though. We're looking at a collection mission. We're looking at a collection mission, and uh, we're looking at a trade mission. I don't think we've ever done a trade mission. We should meet with Lady Bates, the owner of one of the largest metal stockpiles in the South. We need a significant portion of her reserves, more than 1,000 scrap, but we know that she needs nothing which we have to offer her. She, she does have plans to expand her business empire into the area of uh, transportation distribution of goods rather than just stockpiling. Perhaps this is an angle you can exploit. Let's try this one. We'll get a shitload of scrap for it, but uh, no war asset. But we got a bunch of war asset last time, so uh, that'll be fine. We've never done this kind of mission, so let's try it out. We have the clever title, too. A Question of Metal. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, there's nothing we can buy, so we'll go ahead and get started. All right. Greetings, Lord Beechwood. Your reputation precedes you. Well met, Lady Bates. I assume you are aware of the reason for my visit. Yes, I am well aware that your war effort requires funds, but I must ask, what is preventing you from dipping into your own coffers? It is not money that we require, but rather the raw stuff of industry, metal. I know that you have a considerable stockpile of this stuff, and I wish to offer a trade. Hmm, do you now? I have dozens of warehouses across the south of England, with thousands of men and women in my workforce. As you can see, you have very little of anything that I require. And we have an option here. I can get you an audience with the Queen. I can get you land in London. I can offer you manpower. Well, she said that she has land, and she, she says uh, that she has manpower. I don't know, an audience with the Queen? Interesting, I would perhaps... <laughs> I would uh, have perhaps had more in common with her late husband, Prince Albert. He was the one with the keenest interest in industry, after all. It is a shame he has passed, but the Queen shall do nicely. Shall do indeed! You could potentially speak to her regarding your plans to form an extensive distribution network throughout England. I know that she looks kindly upon projects that could further the development of Great Britain. Hmm. On second thoughts, I'm afraid that's simply not a good enough offer. You are not offering me anything of substance, merely the prospect of meeting Her Majesty. I could hand over my precious resources and receive absolutely nothing in return. I'm afraid I'm very busy preparing my own defenses for when the French arrive. Might I suggest you return to the front lines to, and do what you can with what you already have. <laughs> I thank you for your time, Lady Bates. Mission failed. Well, shit. I guess we probably wanted to offer her maybe some land in London. That's, uh... Maybe the better thing. Well, you know, live and learn, I guess. We tried. Didn't get anything, but it didn't cost us anything either, other than the opportunity cost of a mission. Let's see what else we can get. We have a challenging battle. We have a regular battle. Looks like a couple iron casts there, and then uh, this one is a tra another trade mission. Severely lacking ground troops, a private security firm operating at this location. Go there and attempt to strike a deal with them. Um, they bolter, bolster our infantry. Ah. Uh, go there and attempt to strike a deal with them. They bolster our infantry force with able bodies, and we give them a portion of our war chest. Is that something that I'm going to have to, to cough up? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. There we are. I was wondering where, where we were at. We're coming from a different direction almost, or the camera was. So this is Governor Hardwick. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Commander. I am told you were looking for fine soldiers to help repel this imminent invasion. That is correct, although I'm afraid the invasion is already well underway. I have the authority to pay you for your troops. Are you able to handle are they able to handle themselves in battle? They are some of the finest shots in England! My men will serve fiercely and fearlessly, if the price is right. So, for over 300 uh, war asset, what do you consider to be the right price? Let's give him 500. In that case, I agree. You have yourself a deal, Commander. Thank you, Governor. 
<laughs> Treat them well, Commander. Spend their lives wisely. Mission success. That's it? We just spent money and we got 300 war asset. I mean, that's fine. We had the extra, I guess. We're like getting like no XP for this. Oh, I, no, I take it back. I, I guess that was the big issue for failing that last mission is uh, we uh, we lost the opportunity to get a bunch of XP. But we level up. We get the repair leech. We can get additional shot. The next weapon uh, to be activated fires an additional shot. The five turn cooldown. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that one. Yeah, I like that. And uh, yeah, I guess that will uh, do it for this one. It's gonna be like a record for a number of missions completed in one episode, I think. <laughs> Are we gonna get another trade mission? I hope not. We can't afford uh, to do too many more of those. We got a battle here and we got a salvage. Let's see. Well, salvage missions are not really our forte. So I guess we go for the battle. An assigning of a single enemy tank unit at this location. Yeah, bullshit. Single tank, sing, single enemy unit. I know what this means. It means there's going to be a tank and then there's going to be another fucking tank. <laughs> but uh, we'll go for this one anyway. All right, this is the Spire. I see you've arrived, Commander. I have indeed, and I can see the tank now. Is it lightning out here? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I guess so. Good, please make contact once the task is complete. There you go. It's not uh, too tough, I don't think. It could be worse. It's got pretty good armor on. If we're lucky, we'll get that uh, for ourselves. Let's see, additional shot. We don't want to use that yet, of course. Uh, what do we want to do? Uh, I guess we want to grab some of this. And then we will grab, uh, we'll go ahead and do some resilience. We'll save our energy. Um, let's get rid of this repair, get that out of the way. And then, uh, I guess we can afford to start getting a little bit of ammo. So if we just match up, like three and then we'll link it up with uh, the scrap here then we can still get a six match next turn as well I think that'll be fine let's go ahead and call our, uh, our turn finished <laughs> he's got a missile launcher which I don't love does quite a bit of damage quite a bit of damage indeed in fact our doesn't seem oh that's right the, the uh, our survival thing doesn't actually prevent damage to systems just to our hull which is important uh, to note. But uh, no matter. I think we're in a position here where we can uh, give him a little taste of his own medicine. I think I'm going to go for his drives. It seems to be probably our best bet. Um, but before we do that, we're going to match up. How do we want to do this? Um, we match up six ammo, then we can get some cooling as well. But it seems like a waste. Instead, we'll match up and we'll get the uh, the energy like that. Yes. Then we're gonna go ahead and do additional shot. I'm hoping this synergizes with our uh, our bonus that we get as well. Also, does this work for uh, to the start of your next turn? Okay, that's fine. Target his drives and let's shoot our shot cannon at him and see how we do. We missed him twice. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Uh, well, let's repair our shields here. We're going to raise shields. And then we're going to ammo leech him. I'm going to shoot this son of a bitch again. <laughs> until he becomes dead. We could do um, shot coils, but I think... I don't know. Does our, our passive bonus last the whole turn after getting a six match? Don't, don't know the answer to that, but... Uh, he's going to feel some righteous fury of fucking thunder. That's what I'm telling you. I think we better match up this as well. And then uh, we actually don't need the coolant right now, so let's match up. Uh, I think this energy, like so, that'll be four, and that'll bring us up to our cap. We can use that uh, overdrive charge to uh, raise our shields, make us a little bit tougher. And uh, at this point, I guess I'll just save our coolant refill. Uh, I mean,. We're going to have to match this coolant to get it out of the way anyway, I think, so I'm not going to worry too super crazy much about that, uh, but I will repair our shields one more time. All right. 
Definitely a little bit of a disappointing turn. I was hoping to do a little bit more damage there. But uh, he didn't do anything in return, so I guess that's good. And uh, yeah, all of his systems are in pretty good shape, honestly. Uh, not that that really matters too much. Let's uh, clear out all this. And then that'll put us in a position to get a six match here. A seven match, even. And I guess uh, we can grab this coolant now, and then we'll just grab all of this energy as well. And then we raise our shields again. And uh, we'll shoot this guy. Is there anything that we really want to, like, break on him? I guess maybe his hardened drive uh, a little bit, just because it is. He's going quite fast. But I think uh, we'll just stick with the shot cannon. It's fine. Assuming we can ever actually hit him. There we go. And we'll be done. Yeah, that hurts a little bit. He broke our shot coils. Not super worried about, about the shot coils, though, so <laughs> that's okay. We do have the opportunity to get some ammo, though, uh, this turn, so that's good. Is there a way that we can set ourselves up for a six match? I don't think so, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we'll do something like this. And then I think we'll... Uh, we can't really get any energy the way things are unless we do this. There we go, that's a little bit better. And we can grab that. And actually, we're really close to getting a six match there. But for now, I think we uh, just shoot him again. We did miss him. That's obnoxious, but uh, it's, then it's the breaks, I guess. And then we'll just keep our sh try to keep our shields high. We actually got an overdrive there, just at random, which is nice. He's doing some repair and a little bit of more, a little bit more movement. His, uh, his one gun there, not so good against us when we, are, when we have our shields up with Overdrive active. This is a situation, though, where we can uh, activate some more abilities here. And what do we want to do? Maybe get rid of some of that, and there we go. That's the, uh, the six match that I was hoping for. Uh, we're going to leave one stray ammo, but that's uh, acceptable. Oh, actually, we don't have to, though. Could uh, match this, and that'll drop everything down. And that actually gives us a nice little uh, link so we can get two six matches like this. So first we'll, um, we're going to shoot him once for sure. Uh, and we will repair our defenses again just to keep our shields up. I'm not, I don't really care about the uh, shot coils at this point. They're not really going to do us much better than anything else I feel like. Um, at least not, not worth doing an extra match to, uh, to get them repaired. So. Let's do that, and we'll shoot him some more. We actually got an overdrive there, and we got an extra shot out of it. And we'll shoot him some more. Man, we're getting lots of misses here. It's a little disappointing. And actually, I guess I missed something, and I matched too many times. I was going to do one more match. It's okay, though. This is a good situation for us to uh, get our coolant back, though, and uh, see how we do here. Shields are a little bit on the low side at the moment. So maybe I will uh, go ahead and grab this just to repair that fellow. And then I'm going to grab all of this. And then uh, I guess I'm going to grab all of this. That'll be fine. Wasted a couple ammo there. It's no big deal. I'm going to shoot him with our shot coils once. Did hit him. Didn't really do very much damage, though, so I don't think it's worth it. Let's just stick with our, yeah, our gun there. And actually, we got another overdrive out of that, too. And uh, let's raise our shields once. Keep those up as best we can. And we'll shoot him with the shot cannon again. Another overdrive. Excellent. So we'll have him down next turn, I think, unless we get some unlucky, uh, some unlucky misses, which could happen. He actually just blew up our drives, which is totally fine. I don't care about that so much. Going for our shields now, though. Okay. Um, we can't ammo leech him. Ah, man, I totally forgot about our, our additional shot thing. Or maybe it was just on cooldown. I think I did use it in the beginning. But we do have to survive one more turn unless we get some ammo going on here real, real, real soon. 
So our best bet to clear the board, I think, is let's start here. Okay. Not quite what I was hoping for. Grab all of this, I guess. There we go. That's that's the ammo that I was hoping for. So we'll pick up this ammo. And we'll activate additional shot here. And uh, we'll, hope and <laughs> we'll hope and pray that we actually hit him. There we go. We got him. Excellent. All right, come in, Spire. This is Lord Beechwood. Receiving you well, Commander. Good to see that you're still in one piece. Only barely. Quite. The threat has been neutralized. Thou shall return to the hangar and await further orders. And uh, lots of XP for that. Good amount of scrap and everything. I'm going to spend a lot of that on repairs, but that's fine. We have quite a bit in reserves, so. All right, what do we have the option to get? Reflective shields. While shields are active, 10% of all weapon damage is reflected back at the source weapon for the next two turns. Variable vent heat or variable heat venting. When activating the system, there's a 25% chance that you will consume one less coolant. And uh, weapon augmentation. Yes, I think this is the one that I want. It's a general augmentation. It's interesting. But we don't really need extra coolant. Like, our coolant is totally fine. And our ability bar is full, so I think this is probably the one, yeah. We actually got some hardened drives that we can equip, but we're <laughs> we really don't have the energy to support those. We can barely support the shields that we have as is. It would almost be worth it to uh, upgrade our energy supply just uh, to be able to get our shields... Um, to a position where... Or get our energy to a position where we can have... Uh, Eight energy, so we can do our shields twice if we choose to. But uh, I think I won't do that yet. We'll see. But anyway, that'll do it for this episode. So uh, until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.